Ukrainian government has launched a military operation after pro-Russian rebels seized control of a major airport in the eastern part of the country. With more on that, we now turn to Paul Yi at the News Center. Paul, these rebel groups have been taking even bolder steps to gain independence, but it appears the government isn't letting them take another inch. That's right. Kiev's response was swift and direct. The Ukrainian army sent in troops and issued an ultimatum to the separatist forces to lay down their arms following reports that the international airport in the city of Donetsk had been taken over. Clashes between soldiers and pro-Russian militia broke out on Monday with the sounds of automatic weapons and rockets coming from inside the airport compound. Ukrainian helicopters and fighter jets were also seen firing at the concrete terminals and runways. After several hours, government forces finally managed to recapture the complex, forcing the local fighters to evacuate. Insurgents said at least 30 rebels were killed and their bodies taken to a nearby hospital a day after the heavy fighting. However, the mayor of Donetsk said the death toll had since risen to 40, with 31 injured as of Tuesday morning. Meanwhile, Russia's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, has called on Kiev to stop the bloodshed with the immediate halt of military action. Lavrov added that Moscow was ready for direct talks with Petro Poroshenko, Ukraine's newly elected president.